Let us first download the installer of Reality Engine and Reality Hub from zerodensity.tv. Scroll down a little bit and you will see the Community Edition bundle. Just click on Download Now. From this page, click on the first link, Download Reality Engine and Reality Hub bundle. Click on Download. I agree of course. Fill in all the details in this page including your email id. The download link will be sent to this email id. Once done, just click on submit. You will get an email that looks like this. Click on download. The download will start and it will take a few minutes depending upon the speed of your internet. Once the download is complete, you will get a zip file with these two files inside. First, let's install Reality Engine, which is pretty simple to install. Extract the ISO file. and just double click on the exe file and click next and then install. Click on close. That's it. We are done with Reality Engine. Let us now install Reality Hub. Double click the exe and I agree and click on next. Next. Do not change anything here. Just remember the HTTP port, which is 80. Click next. Next. Do not change anything here as well. Next and install. When the installation is complete, close the window and open up Google Chrome and in the address bar, just type 127.0.0.1 colon and the HTTP port number which was 8080. Hit enter and this screen pops up. The username is admin and the password is reality hub all small case no space. So this is reality hub. We have to download and install one more thing which is called the reality loader. Click on these three dots and go to configuration. And inside general configuration, you can find the reality loader here at the bottom. Click on download and then just install it by clicking next. Do not change anything, just keep everything at its default. We don't have to launch it now, so just click on finish. Next, we have to create the shared folders within our computer. You can create the shared folder in any drive. I will create it here in my D drive. First create a folder and call it Reality Workspace. Inside this folder make another folder called Reality. Within this folder make two more folders called Projects and Assets. Now if you look at Reality Hub, you can see that there are two folders. We have created the same folder in our computer. Now let us share this folder so that it can be accessed by Reality Hub. Let's go back to the Reality Workspace folder. Right click on it and select properties. Then go to the sharing tab and click on share. Choose everyone from the drop down and click share. And done and close. Now let's map a drive for the Reality Workspace folder. Hit Windows R and type backslash backslash 127.0.0.1 and hit enter. Right click on the Reality Workspace folder and select Map Network Drive. For the drive, select R and click finish. Now if you see in my computer, you will see the R drive with all these folders inside. All the projects and assets will go into these folders. Let us test if everything is working or not. First, let us run Reality Loader and then open Reality Editor. Select Virtual Studio for now and click Next. I will open the Reality Examples template just to test if everything is working fine 
and then click next now set the location of this project to be the same as the project folder inside reality workspace folder i will name the project as install tute you can name it anything and create project once the project is open in reality editor let's go back to reality hub and see if everything is working let me just resize the windows so that i can see them side by side now if i hit play and open up reality hub you can see all the blueprints that are inside the project you also have the engine control we will talk about it some other time let's just keep it aside for now back in the project let me just go to text 3d template and see if this can be changed from reality hub let's find the 3d text node in the node graph and try changing the text yeah it works you can also run the project without opening it in reality editor and you can launch it directly from reality hub so let's do that now close your reality editor but keep the reality loader running go to configuration tab and under projects click on shared folders if i try to scan the folders it will fail because the username and password have to be correct you will have to use the username and password of your computer i repeat you will have to use the username and password of your computer so i will just do that now and now if i scan it should work yes see i will do the same with the assets folder that's all we have to do in this window now let's go to the launcher tab and launch the project let's select a project we have only one project at the moment which we created a while back select it and select the level we want to launch which is the main level you can also select a particular r graph but for now let's just go with the default r graph once this is done just click on launch it will take a few minutes to launch you can see a multi viewer window has opened up let's go back to hub and add a camera so that we can see what we have just launched in the node graph we can see all the templates but we cannot see anything in the multi viewer that's because there is no camera in the r graph so let's just add a camera right click on the node graph and search for camera select the camera which is under ue render take the output pin of the camera node and connect it to the channel 1 of the mixer node to move the camera around in the scene just click on this plus icon on the camera node and now if you look at the bottom right of the node graph you will see this plus icon right click and hold on this icon and use w a s d q and e to move around the scene so this concludes the installation and configuration of reality hub and reality editor if you have any comments or suggestions please comment below and let me know thank you see you in the next one